Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Hey, did you know there's a brand new Grammy Museum in Newark, New Jersey? Our Kimberly Kravitz was there for the opening. Larry, some of the greatest musical artists of all time were born here in New Jersey. And now there will be a Grammy Museum opening up here at the Prudential Center in Newark, paying tribute to the state's rich musical history. A first of its kind Grammy Museum experience will celebrate and explore all aspects of music and provide educational programming for youth throughout the tri-state area. You know, the original Grammy Museum is in Los Angeles, and now in Newark. So uh, we're here simply because New Jersey is a great state when it comes to American music history. But also, Newark is, uh, is the kind of city that uh, has, I think, been long overshadowed by New York and Philadelphia in terms of its great music legacy. Each square foot of the facility is dedicated to musical history and education, featuring artifacts used throughout the years custom wardrobe items worn by Michael Jackson and Beyonce, and drum sets played by the E Street Band. And of course, the influence of New Jersey is instilled throughout the exhibit. Newark has always been a town of music. Music is in our veins, from Willie Lyon Smith to Sarah Vaughan. My father and mother made me clear uh, that Newark was a place of jazz, of blues, of soul, of music. Uh, and it always should be that way no matter what we do. In fact, it's this music and art that's going to bring our city back to life. The Newark location is the only Grammy Museum on the East Coast. And some of the other locations include California, Mississippi, and Tennessee. And this museum is designed to be educational and kid-friendly. The hope being that the children of the future will learn from this museum and in turn build the next generation of Grammy awarded musical artists. And being here, what does it teach you to be in this museum? That to never give up, because I, I would like to be in one of these walls someday, hopefully. The journey that they, like, they, they had to overcome in order to get here, because a lot of them, you know, like they said, grew up like in Newark and, you know, grew up in poverty, and to just get to such high heights. There is a comprehensive section devoted to Jersey legends, paying homage to musical heroes such as Sinatra, Springsteen, Bon Jovi, and Whitney Houston. This is the home of so many incredible artists. You have Bruce Springsteen about 30 minutes south, Whitney Houston, of course, and the Fame Choir right in our backyard. We have a community that needs some, some arts and music education. And what better place than an opportunity than to bring kids here and learn a little something about the history of music. And maybe, just maybe, our next Grammy winner will come have their experience, first experience right here in the Grammy Museum at the Prudential Center. One notable New Jersey native paid a visit at the ribbon cutting ceremony of the Grammy Museum. Yo, what's up Jersey, what's up New York, what's up Delaware, and what's up Philadelphia, all of my favorite places. It brought back memories, I mean, I've been doing this since 1982, actually, I was a kid fresh out of high school, I remember sitting at home watching the Grammys, not even thinking that I was going to be able to even participate in an, in an event like this. You know, me being here, you know, what, uh, 35 years ago, you just had a dream, you had a hope, but dreams do come true. And this is what this is proving. Hopefully, what this museum is going to do is going to bring the generations together. This museum is not your typical look but don't touch policy. In fact, it is encouraged to be fully immersed in the music. Each exhibit has hands on multimedia to interact and allow a greater understanding of the art form. These are the kind of things that allow people to get deeper or more to get closer to the music and that's really important for us because it's one thing just to show the results of great music the other thing is to inspire people to become better listeners and for young people to become artists themselves you have to do is listen to uh, Sissy who's Houston in that choir and you know you're uh, you know you get emotional right and so that's what music does it gets it gets uh, people emotional, it gets people excited, it brings people together. A lot of bad stuff going on in the world, so uh, hopefully we can get a few kids emotional and excited about music. You have to come visit us and bring your kids. This is a great place to come, learn, live, and play. The museum will be open to the public every Tuesday through Sunday, and tickets are $7 a piece. Don't miss it. 
In Newark, New Jersey, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Stay tuned for our community calendar for events in our area.